As x goes to infinity, the natural log of x also goes to infinity. And so, of course, the natural log of the natural log of x goes to infinity as well. The denominator in this expression is x, so that's obviously going to infinity. Hence, this limit has the form infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So to evaluate the limit, we can use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule tells us that the limit of this ratio of functions will equal the limit of the ratio of their derivatives, provided that exists. Beginning with the derivative of the numerator, the natural log of the natural log of x, we have to apply the chain rule. The chain rule tells us that the derivative of a composite function like this will first be the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. In this case, the outside function is natural log, whose derivative is 1 divided by the input, Remember, we want to leave that input, that inside function, unchanged. In this case, the inside function happens to be ln x. The only other part of the chain rule is that we have to multiply by the derivative of that inside function, that input which we didn't change. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So that's the derivative of the numerator, and the derivative of the denominator, x, of course, is just 1. So this limit must equal this, where we have the derivatives of the numerator and denominator. Of course, dividing by 1 doesn't change anything, so we can just write this as this, where it's x times ln x in the denominator. And 1 over x ln x, as x goes to infinity, it's easy to see that this converges to zero, because x and ln x both get arbitrarily large as x goes to infinity. Hence, our numerator is just some fixed finite number, while our denominator is getting arbitrarily large. So certainly this limit, and so our original limit, are equal to zero.